Hi guys, it's Jen. I'm here with reality guru Reality Steve chatting about this season's The Bachelor. How are you doing, Steve? Great, how are you? Great. So Steve, it's been quite a dramatic season with Courtney and Ben. Are they still together? Yes, they are. They spent uh, last weekend together and they're still together. They're going to try and make it work. Will it? You know, only time will tell. Probably not, just because, you know, just playing the numbers game. This is sure. the 16th Bachelor that they've had. None of the previous 14 ever married the final girl that he chose. So why would I think that Ben would be any different, especially considering the tabloid coverage of these two? And, you know, it's just it's just not a normal way to meet somebody. It's not a normal way to start a relationship, especially an engagement. And I just don't see how in the world these two, after the attacks that they've come under and all the allegations brought against both of them, that she's a gold digger and he's been chasing women around the country, um, it's got to be tough. And I just think eventually it'll probably take its toll. There's been a lot of rumors about his infidelity during their breakup. Are any of those true? As far as I know, it's a lot of fabricated stories. It's a lot of stretching of the truth. When I read stories like that, I want to know that these girls, I want to get them on record and I want them to give details. And not one of them has. Not one of them has said, I went to Ben's house, I slept with him, I left the next morning on this date and we met here. None of these girls have come forward. Courtney is seriously being billed, though, as the most hated woman on reality TV in yeah. America this year. Yeah. Do you think that's what's caused her relationship with Ben to have this downward spiral? Well, I think it's, I think it played a, a big role because as Ben, you know, Ben watches the show with the rest of America. He did not know what her edit was going to be. He had no idea what she was saying to the cameras in her in the moments with saying things about other women and saying things about, uh, certain dates and making these snide remarks uh, at the rose ceremonies. He didn't know any of this. So obviously he watches it and he's just like, wait a second, the girl that I fell for, the girl that I, every time I was with her, we had a great time. But yeah, it's gotta be tough to see sh her saying all those things and then knowing that the woman that you chose for the last four months when he couldn't say a word is being hated by everyone in America. You, you do wanna date somebody that other people like. and. She's hated. Were you surprised at all by his decision to pick Courtney? Not based on all the things I had heard, no. I heard that he was pretty smitten with her from the get-go, and it was almost like an unfair advantage to everybody else. I think the biggest tipping point was the skinny dipping in Puerto Rico. There's no way he could have chosen anybody else, because how do you get to the end, and let's say he chose Lindsay over Courtney, how do you tell Lindsay, oh yeah, by the way, three weeks ago I went skinny dipping in the ocean with Courtney. To do that, pretty much solidify the deal. I think he was, I think he knew it was going to be her very early on. So where do you get most of your information? The biggest thing is, the bigger my site has gotten over the last two or three years, more people want to tell me information. Perfect example is what's happened uh, last weekend uh, with Emily Maynard starting her season of The Bachelorette. She had a one on, her first one-on-one -on -one date of the season was last Friday night. And it was a dinner and then she went out to a, a concert and everybody was there and you know, I had so many people emailing me pictures and videos, and I put that up on the site the very next day. I identified who the guy was. A lot of it just comes from people who want to feed me information and tell me, hey, this is what I know and this is what I hear. And I have to weed out people here and there, but for the most part, it's something to where it's just become a lot easier as the seasons go on. Do you think that Emily is in this for the right reasons? Does she really want to find love? I think, she, I think she's open to it based on the interviews that I've read with her. Whether or not it happens is a completely different story because I don't know enough of the guys yet. I haven't seen their personalities. I have like eight of them confirmed, but there's still 15 guys I don't know about. So um, I think she could. I think she could get. I think she could find somebody. Probably the odds are against her just because of the track record of this show, though. You mentioned that there's been very little success rate in any of the Bachelor couples. Does that hurt the Bachelor franchise at all? They've cornered the market on reality TV dating. Nobody ever thought back in 2002 when they saw the first season air with Alex, that did you anything, anybody think in 2012 the show would still be on? No, so they've done a great job. They know what they're doing and I think it's more of a, it's, I don't, this show's really never been about love and producing a marriage. Now the question everyone probably always asks you is how does ABC not sue you and come after you for printing all this information and spoiling their whole season? You know, it's been talked about a lot more recently on my blog because there has been a uh, there's been an independent blogger. This guy, I don't even know what this blogger wrote. Um, essentially, was you know, it's, this is a case of the big man coming after the little man, and I, and I can't disagree with that. I, I really think that they are doing their best because I've been a thorn in their side for the last three years, and I've been ruining their show and ruining their episodes and who's telling everybody who's going to get eliminated before it happens. I'm a journalist. I'm a reporter. I get information given to me, and I have every right to put it on my blog and I'm going to keep fighting that. 
Well, I wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. For all your celebrity news, gossip, style, beauty, and more, keep coming back to HollywoodLife.com.